Monster. In plenty and in one. Lovely, lovely neighbors there. That's a TikTok video captioned, some people are so miserable, hashtag Karen. It's got over 700,000 views on TikTok. People are outraged that this neighbor started mowing the lawn with a weed whacker while the bride was walking down the aisle in a backyard wedding. And a lot of commenters were quite upset. They were like, what is the address I'm coming through? A lot of them were very supportive of the bride, super critical of the neighbor. One commenter, pleasant view stuck saying, now I'd be committed to randomly ringing her doorbell at 3 a.m. at least once a week for eternity. <laughs> Another one, Jesse S.I. Guyett said, at that age, they will not change. <laughs> and then Elisa Sabrina 86 says, I would take an assault charge for my family, it'd be worth it. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people in support, the majority of people in the comments were like, this neighbor's awful, she's a Karen, what's going on? Others, not so much, right? There were some people saying, do you have an on ongoing beef with her? Is there beefs? Nowhere 11 asks this. Then another person says, nah, she's allowed to do whatever she wants uh, in her property. Another person said, well, you are right by her house. She can do what she wants. So lots of lots of debate, lots of discourse under the video. Most people were pretty much supportive. Francesca, what do you think? Whose side are you on? I mean, Charlie Kirk is not wrong when he said that <laughs> living horizontally makes you more conservative. Clearly more of it. Uh, there you go. This is the bonus episode, I get to swear, damn it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's awful. What do you do? Stop trying to make someone else's happiness about you. I don't know how many more of these videos I can take. First, you have the Disneyland worker who like ripped the ring from the fiance's like hand as he was trying to propose to his girlfriend. And now this, there's a war on weddings people. And as someone who just paid way too much to have one, uh, I need this is my cause now. And I will take out anyone making noise from any wedding, any nearby wedding. I love how they were like, oh, we're gonna save money. And then their dumbass neighbor <laughs> ruined it for them. Oh, we still have Karen. Damn it, we should have paid her off. Yeah. Should have paid her up. It's very strange. It's very strange, uh, especially because you know that the vast majority of the people that are coming in and trying to disrupt these weddings are not for non traditional weddings. They should be supporting traditional weddings at the very least. This was a man and a woman getting married. They should have been dancing happy on their front lawn. This is <laughs> instead she pulls out the weed whacker. It's not okay. This is why from day one I've been anti weed whacker and pro weed smoker. It's a very different <laughs> mentality. What is happening to the sanctity of marriage in our country? That's and I right. think, you know, these people that are very upset about what's going on, I think I pretty much agree with them because, okay, she can do whatever she wants on her property. It's a free country, blah, blah, blah. Can and should are different things. People should be nice to other people. If you can wait like 30 minutes, this does not look like a person who's got a lot of stuff going on. I'm not gonna lie. She probably could have waited until the wedding had wrapped up. Wait till the music's going that can you know drown out the noise of the weed whacker. And then you know weed whack your lawn. It's not that hard to respect other people and just be nice. And there's something sick going on with people when they want to intervene with other people's happiness. It's truly a sickness. Someone's mad they didn't get the invite, you know? She's just I was gonna say. I live right across the street. You could have included me, and if not, <laughs> she she was like, "I'll make my dip," and and they were like, "Oh, <laughs> thanks. No, no, it's really okay. We've got a caterer, but my dip. You said you love my dip." They're like, "Oh, we're just lying to you to be nice." And it's you just know? so sad people's people's disdain and heartlessness towards people that just can't afford stuff. One of the comments I saw was like, "Well, that's what you get when you don't pay for a venue." You know what it costs to pay for a wedding venue if. If you have a nice front lawn, come on, you could expect a half hour of decency from your neighbor. I mean, you can't, but you should. I have a lot of feelings about things like weed whackers, like leaf blowers, jet skis, and basically anything with a motor. Drones, this is like flying a drone at the beach. You can do it. 
Are you ruining everyone else's day at the beach? Uh, yeah, you are very much so. Yeah, the so. crazy part about this story is local news started posting it. So now everyone in town knows who this person is and what they did. I really hope people do disrupt her her door at 3 a.m. That would be poetic, beautiful. Just and I hope somebody films it and posts it. I want the con- I want the the satisfying conclusion to this story. Mm-hmm. Just with a weed whacker outside. Yes, that's the ding real- dong weed whack. Yes. <laughs> people are super dedicated. They found the house on uh, Google Maps in the comments. They're like, I don't know oh, why God. I did it, but I found it. And so. Who knows what's coming next? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.